Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Titan 30 litre wet dry vacuum. So without further ado, let's get started and let's have a look at the machine. So, we've got the machine here, obviously the head and the barrel included. You get your wet filter, it's just a sponge that's washable. You get your HEPA dry filter that you can give a dust out to see all the ducts coming off that. You also get um, your wide vacuum head, you do get a brush as well and two poles and obviously your hose. Some of the features of this vacuum include you've got your power taper so if you're using it for dust extraction you can plug in your power tool there and switch it to the number two setting so when you start your power tool up, the vacuum also starts up. Also included is an adapter for four power tools. And you have your normal setting, which just doesn't use the power taper. On the front, this is your suction hose. And also, okay, this off. on the back, you have a mount for your hose as well, and that's your blower mount. So you can use it to blow stuff as well. So today, we're going to be doing a dry test and a wet test. The dry test, I'm going to have bits of gravel, bits of dust, bits of sawdust, and we're going to see how well it copes. And the wet test is showing how well it sucks up water and stuff. So let's get started with the test. So we're going to get started with the test. And we'll start off with the dreaded pine needles. As you can see, that sucked them up no problem. If you've had a real Christmas tree, you know the pain. So let's now start with a bit of mortar, rubble and dust. Again, as you can see, it sucked it up no problem. So, so far, so good on the vacuum. We'll now try these little screws. As you can see, again, no problem. Let's try this um, plastered up steer. sucked it up no problem there's a little bit of staining left but that's ducks for you so fine we'll now try the sawdust the fine sawdust <laughs> handled the fine sword as well. I did have a few wood chips in there, one did get a bit stuck on the outside but it still went through. We'll now try the bigger wood chips. <laughs> So we have actually, 
I'll call that half a fail, but not really a fail because it got all the smaller wood chips up. Nothing to do with the sucking power. It's as you can see by these wood chips, they're quite big and they tend to get stuck like that on there, so half, half a fail. I mean, there's nothing, unless you've got a much bigger hose, there's nothing really you can do. And I didn't want to carry on and block it. So now let's try the stones. <laughs> Again, we've got a bit of a problem there. I think it's blocked, so I'll stop the video and come back and block it, and we'll try that again. Right, guys, so uh, I've just, it was blocked. Um, it was mostly the wood chips in there, so I don't think that lat's gravel texture is overly fair because of the wood chips blocking it beforehand. So I'd probably say the wood chips are a fail at this point because they're just too big to go through the hose. So we'll just, we've got a little bit of stones left so we'll just give them a quick try. <laughs> So as you can see that sucked them up okay and I could hear them being deposited in the tank whereas last time when we did the stones they weren't depositing because when I unblocked it they were behind the they were in front of the wood chips in the blockage so the wood chips I'm going to fail at this point in time. So now we're going to move on to the wet text and see how well it does with that. Right guys now for the wet text. I've got a bin with some water in, just filled it up and we're going to see how well it sucks it up. So we've got it in there, so that's about how deep the water is. Now let's give it a go. <laughs> Right, so uh, when it goes like that, that means the tank's full. So we'll just empty the tank. I'll we'll just show you the emptying process. Here it has a little screw cap that you can and uh, as you can see, it's just all draining out there. It's a ha nice handy feature to have, so you young to tip it over when it's when it's full and you're getting messy so as you can see it holds a lot of water in there we'll just tip the latch detail See there's some sludge in the bottom, we'll leave that for now. Now I'll show you a nice trick to clean it out. Screw the cap back on and you're ready to go again. So we'll give it another go and get the rest of this water. <laughs> As you can see it's completely clean get all the water out of there and it does it in seconds so now we'll just do another wet text right guys so the next text we're going to do is try sucking up this water 
that's built up at the edge here. So let's give it a go. Right guys, as you can see, that's completely got rid of the water. It's now, there's no water there, it's just wet slabs. So as you can see, again, works very well. This feature, it definitely come in handy for stuff like I do, which is jet washing. Because sometimes when you're doing a patio, if there's not good drainage on the patio, you get water build up and the dirty water then defeats the object of cleaning it. So you can use this to suck up the dirty water then rinse down again. Right guys, so I just wanna show you a trick of how I clean the pipe. Especially when you're doing a dirty job, you can get build up of mud and stuff in the pipe. It doesn't block, but you know what I mean. So how I clean it is, I'll just pull it in a barrel of clean water and turn it on. can see how quick that sucked that water up but what it's done is just cleaned the pipe and I'll show you how I clean the barrel now so guys after use as you can see there's some uh, rubbish still left in there so all I do is take the hose and just give the barrel a nice swill out get all the muck off Tip it out, let it drain out. Still a bit of mud in there. Give it another little swirl. And then I'll just tip it out. Give it a swill out like that. And there you have it, a nice clean vacuum barrel. By the way, I apologise for the light here. It's getting a bit dark. Um, I just didn't set up my lights. I thought I'd have enough light there anyway. So that's the Titan vacuum. Oh yes, also I like to just take take the filter and give that a wash as well. We'll just give it a give it a hose out. This is this is your sponge filter for your wet. Obviously, you don't do that with your dry filter with your HEPA one. As 
as you can see that's now looking much cleaner let's give it a ring out and there you have it so guys thanks for watching my review of the titan wet dry vacuum the 30 litre model as you've seen it's an all-round good vacuum it can suck up a lot of things very well sucks up a lot of water as well very quickly the only thing we had trouble was was with them wood chips but hey ho all in all it's a very good vacuum i'll just talk a little about the price i got this on black friday for sale for about 60 pounds i believe it's around 70 pounds normally so i'd say it's an extremely good buy and you want to go and get subscribed because I am going to convert. Sorry about that. I'm going to convert this vacuum into a gutter vac to use it to clean the gutters. So I will be getting a set of poles for it. So you're not going to want to miss that at all. So make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.